Yo what up guys, I'm Sammy and welcome back to the Soul Brothers channel and today we're going to be talking about the most comfortable basketball shoes that you can get right now and Reyna wants to come on my lap so ankle, let's go. <laughs> uh, but anyways, uh, what makes a comfortable basketball shoe? Uh, of course that's very subjective but in my personal opinion, uh, the most important thing of course is cushion. Uh, if you like I want a really soft almost like mushy cushion <laughs> you know what I mean uh, with a lot of compression and stuff like that and next of course is the material how comfortable is the material on foot uh, if it's like a super stiff and like cumbersome material then of course I'm not gonna really want to wear it casually uh, if it's like a nice textile or a nice mesh or knit material that definitely does make the overall comfort a lot more comfortable so uh, that's pretty much it I mean Fit, I guess, also is kind of important. I don't want it to be too tight. You know, if I'm balling, I want it to be a really snug fit. If I'm wearing it casually, I want it to be like, not super loose though, because if it's super loose, I, don't, I can't really feel the material all too much on my foot. Uh, but like, I want like a semi snug fit. So I guess fit is kind of important as well. But uh, those are my like main things for comfort. So anyways, if you guys do want to get any of these shoes, I try to leave a free link in the description box. But let's get it start off with the Under Armour Curry Hover Splash. And the only reason it's on this list is because the hover is very comfortable. So like the name suggests, it uses full length hover foam. And there's a lot of compression in the heel. It's super soft and comfortable. The materials, however, aren't super cozy. It's overall pretty comfortable though. It's like a mesh material. It's thin, it conforms to your foot very well though. So I guess, you know, the overall material is comfortable, but I would want a little bit more like foam in the upper, you know what I mean? Especially in the tongue and stuff like that. But overall, it's a very comfortable shoe. Next is a really comfortable shoe, but a, a sh also a shoe that I don't really like to play in because it is too soft as far as the cushion goes. And that is the Adidas Daymate, right? So the Daymate uses full length Bounce Pro and it's so soft, it's so thick, especially in the heel. So like walking around in it is really, really nice. But, but playing ball in it, like I said, not, I'm not a huge fan personally, but if you wanna walk around casually and you want something really comfortable, then the Daymate is a great option. Also the material, it's like a thicker mesh and there is a little bit of like, like foam to it, you know, a little bit of thickness. So that definitely feels really comfortable on foot as well. So the Daymate is a really, really good option if you want a comfortable shoe. Next, we have the Trey Young One. The Trey Young One has a really comfortable cushioning setup. So we have full length light strike and a boost in the heel. The boost pod in the heel is comfortable. There's a lot of compression in the heel, especially from the actual midsole, but also, but also there is a cutout in the strobe board in the heel, and that does definitely improve the step and comfort in the heel. Also in the forefoot, it feels nice because it is light strike. So the cushioning setup feels great. The materials, however, are a little bit on the stiffer side of things. I mean, once you break it in, it does get a little bit more comfortable, uh, but definitely not as soft and comfortable as like the Dame 8, right? Uh, so there is the Trae Young one. Next, we got the Nike Kyrie Infinity. So the Kyrie Infinity, crazy cushioning setup, as you guys all know. We have a four foot zoom stroll unit, which is, um, it, there's a lot of compression. So that definitely does feel comfortable. I mean, if you're walking on your feet for a very long time, like for long periods of time, uh, the zoom unit kind of gets, it kind of hurts my feet a little bit, honestly, you know? Uh, but for the most part, it is very comfortable. The heel, not very much, especially for the foam, uh, but the forefoot is crazy. And then the materials are super thin and I really like the foam in the tongue and ankle area as well. It feels really nice and cozy there. And then the forefoot, it feels thin, conforms to my foot as well. So the Kyrie Infinity is a great option. Next, we got the Nike Cosmic Unity 2. So we have full length zoom strobe, which of course is really, really comfortable. So it feels like, you know, you're walking on marshmallows or clouds or whatever, right? And then also the material feels great. It's a really nice quality textile material. It's on the thicker side of things. And at first it feels a little stiff, but once you break it in, it feels really great. And it just feels like a pretty nice knit material, you know, overall. And it's a nice and cozy upper, which feels great on foot, especially when you're walking around. And same thing with the KD-15. I would say the mesh material doesn't feel as cozy and comfortable as the Cosmic Unity 2, uh, but it is thinner. But also we have that full length zoom strobe unit. And, uh, you know, of course, uh, the cushion line also has nice compression too. So the KD-15 also overall is a really comfortable shoe just to, you know, casually walk around in. 
All right, next we got a pretty new shoe and that is the Nike LeBron 20. The LeBron 20 is so damn comfortable. So the material, uh, there's really no pinching or anything. It's not cumbersome. It's actually quite thin. It conforms to your foot very well, but also in the, in the ankle area, there's nice plush foam and it feels a little bit different than like normal foam. You know, like if, for example, the Kyrie Infinity, there's a lot of foam in the tongue and ankle area, which is very plush, uh, but the LeBron 20 actually feels more like a memory foam type of material right so there's a little bit more like give to it and it's very very comfortable in the back of the shoe the cushion also is so comfortable there's a lot of compression it's cushion right so in the heel it's almost like a little too soft i've been playing in it and i mean cushion does bottom out but right now it's a, it's feeling a little unstable but you know we're just talking about comfortability and it's just a really comfortable cushioning setup especially in the heel and then the forefoot we got that uh forefoot zoom turbo unit which also you can feel there's a nice compression there as well so overall the lebron 20 is a really really comfortable shoe in my opinion also not too heavy and not too bulky which i mean isn't a huge deal if you're gonna just casually wear it uh, but also if you want to hoop in it weight is pretty important right so it's definitely on the lighter side of things especially comparing it to uh, the older lebrons and especially the lebron 19 right next we got the nike pg6 uh the textile material is very comfortable uh it's more on the thinner side of things but also i do like the plush tongue the tongue is very very nice on top of your foot and then of course the react is really comfortable you don't really feel like a whole lot as far as step and comfort uh, especially comparing it to like full length zoom struggle units but it's still pretty nice and then of course the the react in the heel you have nice compression and overall it's really comfortable too next we got the jordan zion 2 the zion 2 of course is really comfortable for the cushion but the material i went say is like the most comfortable material uh it's, it has it's a blend of like mesh and synthetics uh it's not super cumbersome or stiff or anything like that and it doesn't hurt your feet or anything but it, it's not super comfortable but of course if you're looking for a really nice cushioning setup that's what the zion 2 has we have a large volume zoom in, in the forefoot you can easily feel it and then in the heel we have an air strobe unit which feels really nice, especially for step and comfort. And also uh, the actual midsole does compress a good amount too. So the cushioning setup is really comfortable in the Zion too. Next, we got the Jordan 36. Of course, if you're looking for a really thin material, then the Jordan 36 is a great option. Of course, it's all subjective. You know, some people find thinner materials a little bit more comfortable because they don't want something super bulky or anything like that. But also it, there's a heat wave in California right now. It's super hot, it's like 105 degrees. So that's why I'm sweating right now. <laughs> but yeah, like the Jordan 36 has great ventilation, but also the cushioning setup with the full length zoom struggle unit is really comfortable too. Next, we got the Puma Rise Nitro. It's a really comfortable shoe. Uh, I would suggest going up half a size because it's a really snug fit. Uh, but the overall knit material feels great. It stretches over your foot and it's super comfortable. It also feels really premium, especially for the price. And the full length nitro foam is really comfortable. You know, There's a good amount of compression, especially in the heel. And also you can feel a little bit of rebound back uh, even when you're walking around. Uh, so the cushioning setup is really comfortable too. So it just kind of checks off all those boxes. You know, the upper is comfortable and also the midsole is comfortable. And also it's a pretty good looking shoe too. And there also there is a really cool black colorway that came out. All right, next we got the Anta K. KT7 low. So the KT7 low has the full on knit material, which is really comfortable once you break it in. At first it's like a little stiff and it feels a little glued down, but once you break it in and stuff, it feels really nice and cozy. And I really like that one booty upper and like stretchy knit collar area. I just love that design. And also the cushioning setup is really comfortable. Even for step and comfort, you get that full length N2 foam, which feels nice. And also the insole you have, is basically like the N2 foam as well. So you have great step and comfort. It has a good amount of compression in the heel too. So the KT7 low is a very comfortable shoe to casually just walk around in, especially comparing it to just the regular KT7. All right, last but not least, we got the Leaning Wow 10. Step and comfort is absolutely amazing in the shoe. Now I say it all the time uh, and I love the strobe board. It's like a mesh strobe board and you can easily feel the boom cushion underneath your foot. And when you're just walking around, it just feels great. Now, also when you're playing, it feels nice and bouncy, you know, when you're like running and sprinting, but also when you're like walking around, it's nice and soft and comfortable. Uh, also the cage isn't like super thick uh, or stiff. It's actually quite soft. So you can have pretty good compression from the actual midsole as well. The material isn't like super cozy, but it's a thin material and it conforms to your foot very well too. So uh, like overall, it's a really 
like comfortable material but not super cozy right but anyways that about wraps up my list of the most comfortable basketball shoes that you can get right now of course this list is just my opinion tell us what your top three most comfortable shoes would be down in the comment section below and also if you guys do want to get any of these shoes i try to leave a fit link in the description box but that's it thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one